Hi everyone and welcome to lesson 3 of Central Markbook. In this lesson we're going to look at how we can add tasks to our Central Markbook. So without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. So as you can see uh, from our previous lesson we've already imported our classes into uh, our Markbook and now it's a case of simply adding some tasks to that class or those classes. Alright, so to do that we simply go up to Edit up the top here. So I'm going to click on Edit. Okay, so as you can see, there are currently no tasks in this markbook. So we're going to add a few tasks here, and to do that, we're simply going to click on New Task. And to the task name, I'm just going to enter there as being Task 1, and Task 1 was a research task. And then I'm going to click on the column heading, and that will just give me a, an abbreviated name for that task. And then down here, you can see I don't really need to put anything in for task uh, dates there. Up the top here, of course, you'll see task type. I just want to mark. So that's what it's uh, automatically pulling through. The task waiting for this task, it's uh, 15. And the mark for this task, or the maximum mark, uh, I'm just going to put in there as 40. And I might just go one decimal place there. And then I'm going to click Save. Come through. So we can see here we've got task one, research. Now you'll see there it's abbreviated it or it's shortened it because there's only so many characters that it can show in that, that column heading there. We can see the, the maximum mark, all good. So let's add uh, task two. So new task. Let's go task two, which was a food prac. In fact, food prac one. In fact, I'm just going to shorten that and call it Prac 1. There we go. So I clicked on column heading there. Now the waiting for this was 20, and this had a maximum mark out of 50, let's say. And we'll do one decimal place, and we'll hit Save there. All right, so we've got two there, and I think I'll just add one more. New task, task three, uh, which was a test, let's say. Um, task waiting for this, we'll go with um, 15, and we'll have a mark there out of 40. All right, so we're pretty much done there. Now you can see I've got, whoop, you can see here it actually says unnamed, so I forgot to click on something there. So I'm just going to go back in there to edit that. So if I go across to the right hand side and click on edit task, you'll see here that I didn't click on column heading. So I'm just going to click there and it will bring through that, that abbreviated or shortened version of the task name. Hit save. Okay, so that's what we've got. We've got three tasks in there at the moment, and these three tasks might be the three tasks that, let's say, for example, uh, occur in semester one. So it actually might be a good idea to uh, set up our markbook so we can actually categorize our tasks. So we've got semester one tasks and semester two tasks, if you like. So in fact, what I might do here, I might add, click on this new column group, and I'm just going to type in semester one, which we've already got there, so I can use that one, semester one, and click save. Okay, so what we can see here is we have semester one up here, and it actually says for us to drag columns to add them to this group. Okay, so what I'm simply going to do, I'm just going to drag this guy up here, I'm going to drag this guy up here, and drag this guy up here. So basically, these three tasks are going to come under the banner of semester one. So that looks good. So if I was to jump through to my uh, class, let's have a look. Let's say mine was 9FTEX. I'm just going to click there. And you can see we've got those columns there with our tasks. And then the banner, if you like, the column up the top there that says semester one. All right, let me go back in. I'll show you another little thing that you might uh, want to have a look at, Edit Markbook. What we can actually do with these tasks is we can actually add outcomes or link outcomes to these. 
Now, unfortunately, this feature is only limited to uh, single outcomes. So if you've got a task where you've got multiple outcomes, then this probably isn't going to be uh, of much use to you, but I will show it to you at this stage anyway. So it's actually pulling uh, them from the repository here that they have already built into Central. So I'm actually going to click uh, this one here. Notice that it's not Nessa yet. And let's say we're going to go with, uh, go to stage five. And I'm just going to go with food tech here. Where's food tech? There she is. Okay. And you can see here, it's pulling through those. So let's say, for example, for this first task, which was the research task, uh, I might have wanted them to, where is it? Collect, evaluate, and apply information from a variety of sources. So I'm going to use that one there, and I'm just going to hit save. All right, so now when I jump back in to my class, you can see as I hover over that column, it's actually bringing up that particular outcome. And so as I said, it's uh, only pulling through the one outcome there. Now you don't need to link the outcomes, that's just simply a feature that is built into Central. Um, but if you do want to link those outcomes, then I've just shown you how to do it. So that's basically our first st step uh, to get you into Markbook. So um, now it's your turn, have a little play, uh, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.